Hi, I'm Wade from Thoroughbred Diesel, and today we're going to be installing an amped throttle booster for a 2021 F350 Ford. Hey, listen, big things are happening here at Thoroughbred Diesel. We got us a new cart. Adam went out and got us a new cart. This is a new prop for our shows. Look at this cart. It spins. The damn thing will... F oh, go get around, get around. All right, cool. So, it'll make a complete 360 degree turn with minimal effort of your hands, noted in the video. So today what we're gonna be doing, doing is installing an Amp Throttle Boosters. Uh, big shout out to the guys at Amped Edge Super Chips uh, for sending us this. Jacob sent it down to us. So we're gonna install it on my neighbor's truck, NTR Lawn Care out of Lexington. If you're looking for somebody to do your lawn Lexington, NTR is great lawn care service. Now, it's more interesting in this, because of this throttle booster we've done, uh, quite a few different companies, uh, different throttle sensitivity boosters. Um, a lot of each different company brought something new to the table. A couple of industry firsts with this throttle sensitivity booster. Number one, this is going to have a wireless controller. So this is the first, this is an industry first wireless controller for the throttle sensitivity booster. And also it allows you within the app to do uh, custom programming for your throttle sensitivity maps. So you could actually set up how you want your power curves to be for the throttle booster. So that's a really, really cool feature. So two, two, uh, two industry first there. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with our install. But the first thing that we wanna show you is we want to show you on your, um, on your wireless switch, you're gonna have to introduce a battery into it. I'm gonna roll the cart over here. So you can see the wireless switch on the end of it closest to the to the uh, to the push buttons there's a little groove where you can just pop the back off you pop the back off and the negative side of the batteries you can kind of see that there the negative side of the batteries goes down batteries are included with this kudos to these guys for sending that so we're going to put all three of them in with the negative side down just like so and then we will replace our lid just like that. Push it till it clicks and you're good to go. You can push it and it'll wake up. So we're good to go, got our batteries in. So now let's go ahead and get started with our install. All right, with our amped throttle, uh, throttle booster, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and um, make my connections at the throttle booster itself. This is a little bit different than some of the other models that we've tested that you actually have um, two separate connections that go into the, um, the throttle booster uh, control module itself. And the, uh, your factory wiring harness is actually going to kind of uh, piggyback into two separate wires. So, which that's nice, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, these are OEM quality connectors here. So, you know, with the throttle sensitivity booster, you're looking for your APPS sensor or your accelerator position sensor. And on newer vehicles, it is traditionally the sensor that is directly connected to your accelerator. So if you just go to your accelerator and you look directly above it, the sensor is usually gonna be there. Adam, I, Adam, I, we're gonna do the old blue 22 handoff. And I'm going to take you inside the cab of this new truck and we're going to position the camera here. So now I'm looking at the throttle position sensor here and I'm trying to not uh, wiggle the camera too much. I'm going to zoom in on the wire that we're looking for itself and you can see that right there above the APBS sensor. So there's a red locking tab on it. You just slide it up. And then there is a button underneath of that, you push it, and voila, you've got your wire out. So I will hand the camera back to Adam because you've seen that. You've seen us do that a few times on different shots. So what we will do now is we will take the female side of the harness and we will actually be plugging in the amp side, push it until it clicks like so slide the lock down, then take the amp female harness and it will actually go back to the accelerator sensor itself. And tie back in, push it till it clicks, hit the locking tab down. And then you're gonna wanna leave the box out. You're gonna wanna leave the box out because there's a light on this box and you're gonna wanna be able to see that for uh, your connection uh, with your switch. 
All right, so we're in the truck now. I've got the module where you can see the light on it because that's going to have with to do with our connectivity. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our uh, our wireless controller connected first. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and put the key in the ignition and turn the key on. And then you'll wake the um, remote up by just touching one of the buttons. You'll see the two lights come on. When the two lights come on, press and hold both buttons until you will see these lights start to go up and down and release them. Now, when the lights start going up and down, you're going to want to take the throttle and push it from zero to 100%, zero to 100%, zero to 100%. You'll want to do that till you see the green light come on on the box. When the green light comes on on the box, you're synced up, you're ready to go. You got yourself a throttle sensitivity booster. So you can just wake it back up, turn it on. That's uh, your first level is 80% and it goes all the way up to 200. So in these bars, this is all the way up to 200. When you go beyond that, that goes into your custom settings and we're going to show you that here in just a second. And you can turn it back down. This is wide open. This is that would be your lowest setting is the one bar and then 80%. So five different settings inside of there, one more, five different settings. That's all of your presets. So now we're going to switch over and we're going to do the app. All right, now we're going to show you how to function on the AMP 2.0 app. So you just go over to your app store and download the app. And I've got the little icon there on the bottom uh, right up the corner of my screen fire up the app. First thing it'll do is it'll ask you if you would like to connect to your phone's Bluetooth. Yes, you want it to connect to Bluetooth and it'll also ask you if you can send you push notifications. I'll, I'll let it say yes. Now it's going to um, ask you to do a process of discovering your device. So key has to be on in the truck. You can't read that, but hit, just hit the OK button. It says to make sure your uh, truck is on the on run position. Make sure the pedal is not pressed and you will hit OK again. And it'll come up and it'll say searching for devices. Make sure the vehicle is keyed on. It is on. Swipe down to search for devices. Make sure your vehicle is in the on run position with the engine not running. Make sure the pedal is not pressed. Press OK. Do it. Press the pedal all the way to the floor and hold it until the amp device is found. So we're going to press it all the way to the floor and hit OK. When you do that, it's going to search for the device. The device is found. It says the discovery process using the pedal is different than the pedal relearn process. If you have not completed a pedal relearn, you will need to do that before the product will function. OK, we have done a relearn, but I want to show you how to do a relearn on the device here. So we are going to go to um, the AMP module. Just click the AMP module at the top. And you can't see that very well. We're going to go ahead and do the pedal relearn on this. So that's the top device. So the pedal relearn process consists of pressing the accelerator all the way to the floor two or three times for 30 seconds window. After selecting OK to blow, we're going to do that. So hit OK. And then we start the process all the way to the floor, off. All the way to the floor, off. All the way to the floor and off. All the way to the floor and off. All the way to the floor and off. It turned yellow, the light down at the bottom did. It says pedal re relearn. It says confirm the LED color on the amp device changed from red to orange. If it's orange, press complete to finish. Red to retry, ours is orange, so we're gonna hit complete. So we should be good to go there. Still orange, we're good. So we should be paired up now. So now, what I thought we would do is we would um, set up some of the curves that we've got here. So we want to um, we want to do the. Uh, the custom curves that we talked about, one of the functionalities of the AMP device is that we can actually set up uh, custom maps on this. So I'm going to hit curves right here. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, this is going to be in, um, in channel one. So I'm going to go ahead and select a few different, uh, I'm going to move these, I'm going to move the levels. Why won't that move? Oh, sorry. Okay. So you just tap it and hold it and move the curve up just a little bit. So at, you know, what I've done here is you can take it down or you can take it up wherever you want to at the 80% throttle position. You can throw a little bit more to it and you make a different curve in there then hit save on the curve and it'll hit level saved. So that's how you uh, set up your different levels. So we're good to go here. You can turn the, you can turn it down. You can turn it up with the, with the app. You can turn it to economy, 80%. You can turn it to stock, 100%. Drive at 150, sport at 175, and extreme at 200 are all levels on there. You can totally control it from the app. You can control it from the switch if you want to. The switch works as well. It turns down on, on, the, on the switch. So uh, you're in good shape either way it goes. So now we've taught you how to use the uh, taught you how to use the uh, app, taught you how to use the switch. Let's take it out, and take it for a drive. All right, our ride along in our 2021 F350 with the amped uh, throttle booster in it. I'm always it doesn't matter how many of these products that we do. I'm always as amazed the first time as I am the last time with how much of a difference it makes in these vehicles. We were really excited to do this on a cabin chassis truck too because you know the cabin chassis traditionally are ordered with lower gears and on this truck is no different. Um, so this truck didn't have pedal lag as much as being geared low. Uh, you know you kind of expect that process. But with the throttle booster on it, uh, huge difference in it. I mean, it's it's. I mean, of course, it's on keel, and that's one thing I want to talk about. We're just working on the uh, remote, the wireless remote here. Uh, I wanted to say this. I didn't mention this in the uh, in the setup there. When the remote's on, that's where it stays. So it goes back to sleep after a while. It doesn't lose its position. It just goes to sleep. So if I put it on, like if I put this down on three, it stays on three. This thing is shift on the fly um seamless uh, seamless and and it and it responds very well the 200 percent throttle is really really nice on this cabin chassis truck makes a big difference in drivability just just sportier you just don't feel like you're in a you're in a ton truck and 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 all the things so yeah let us out there so yeah that's it uh amp throttle booster really really like it big big fan i like the uh i like the functionality of the app um, I hope we did a good job of showing you that. It's uh, something working, Adam and I are working through on camera work is being able to show stuff on the apps because you've got more products coming out with that. But yeah, big kudos to AMP and a big thank you to them for sending it to us. Uh, we really, really like this product. Definitely suggest this for your truck. Also something I haven't mentioned, they make this for lots of different trucks, gas, diesel, cars, whatever it is. I'm sure they've got an application for it. So check it out. We're gonna link you in this video to our unboxing video. We're also gonna link you to a page on our website where you can purchase this for your truck. And if you have a question about any AMP products, Edge products, Super Chip products, Diablo products, any kind of products, give us a call, like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Peace to death.